Hello everyone, Dreeks here and welcome to the finale of Yoshi's Story. Part 17 is going to be stage number 24 and only stage 24. <laughs> Even though we did beat page 6 three times already, including the final boss. However, I kind of skipped over the final boss, at least when it comes to covering him in a serious manner. <laughs> this time we will actually check out his dialogue and face him truly and also check out the epilogue and the credits and closing off this book once and for all. However, we first need to play a stage before that. There are still 30 more melons to find in this game. The 30 final melons we're ever going to pick up. We are going to enter Magma Castle, a shooting finale for this game. Stage number 4 of page 6. Every single Yoshi has played 3 stages during my run. With the exception of the Black Yoshi. He is going to be the one to finish off this story. And retrieve the super happy tree once and for all. Uh, before beginning, let's check out the left. <laughs> let's actually stop to the left in this stage. Not that we can do anything here, but might as well check it out. And also immediately get the war point here, of course, for easy access for later on. Because, yeah, there's a locked door here. Right at the beginning of the stage. Very interesting. <laughs> but Miss Warp over here gives us easy access the moment we find a key. Which is going to happen a lot later on. So, don't worry. You're not missing out on anything quite yet. Let's make sure we're full on eggs. And let's ride another dragon. A hot crossing. This dragon is your friend. He'll carry you across the lava sea. Ah, remember the dragon from the first stage in page 3? A really long time ago. <laughs> he finally returns. Only this time in the form of a lava dragon. And therefore saying he can actually swim across the lava. Carrying us towards the other end of the room. But do be careful because there's of course going to be melons on the way. And also make sure you're never on the lower parts of the dragon. Because the lava can still kill you. Something we clearly don't want. <laughs> These guys are not unique. They did also appear in stage 2 too. However, I killed the one that appeared there re really quickly. <laughs> but these guys are only good for points. Or making some light. But that final one's not really that important. <laughs> oh, this dragon's a lot shorter than I thought. <laughs> killed the fly guy for some points. And nothing more. Because the fruit we don't want, of course. There's going to be another one. And that should be the final one. Three. Hey, why can't you go through the wall? Why can't I? <laughs> Not fair. <laughs> oh, my scaly friend. You were a good help. But this is going to be the last time we see you. Let's move on to room number two. Here we're going to play around with the lava in a different way. The stage is called Magma Castle after all, so... <laughs> lava fall. Watch out for the lava falls. If you touch them, you'll get burned. Translation, they will actually uh, damage you a little bit. They're not insta-kill, so be careful. However, if you get hit by these lava falls over a pit, the chances are really big that you're going to fall in it. And therefore, still die in one hit. <laughs> so definitely be careful. But these lava falls actually have a different function. They don't just uh, fall over endless pits. Um, yeah, let's go right first. Uh, yeah, I was talking about these lava falls. As you can see, they can actually also slide around over the ground. Yeah, this is actually pretty nasty in some instances. <laughs> this one's not really that bad. It does hinder us getting these eggs, but still... For the most part, they are not really that big of a hindrance here. So, now that we have some eggs, we can actually go in here. Because it's pretty obvious there's a melon in here. In fact, there's two of them. <laughs> Thank you. Six and seven. And that gives us the first heart fruit. And this is one we're supposed to get over here, because there's bonus coins. <laughs> Thank you, game. Oh. Yeah, even though you're invincible, you can still get knocked around by the lava. It does not hurt you. But you can still interact with it, so... Whenever dealing with these things over an endless pit, you should be careful. Stars over here form melon number 9. And here's the first special heart. Part of the final set we're going to get. <laughs> number 1. Only two more to get in the entire game. Can't believe this is the finale already. <laughs> Only 17 parts and we're already through this game. Luckily, there's still one more stage to clear. One of the more fun stages to do in this game. 
Because if it isn't obvious, this is one of my favorite stages in this game to do. <laughs> Perhaps even my all-time favorite. Um, but anyway, let's move on. Ow. <laughs> let's get some eggs first. Oh, and if we look closely, we can actually see some arrows pointing down over there. Indicating this is not an Entus Pit. Down here we can actually find a special door. Emphasis on the special, because we want to go in here for something nice. Ooh. Remember, in stage 2-3, when I talked about the slug boss. How he was going to return at some point. <laughs> All the way to the final stage of the game, we finally meet him again. Do be careful. Don't waste your eggs on this guy. Make sure every single one is a hit. And this is why. <laughs> There's not one, but two of them. And this time around, no egg box in order to restore our eggs. So unlike the first time, this time the slug mini boss definitely is challenging. You need three hits on each of them. And since there's two of them, you're not allowed to miss a single egg shot. <laughs> Making this guy somewhat challenging. And the reward? The key we were looking for. Remember the door to the left of the start? Right next to warp number one. Emphasis on the warp number one. Our easy route back there. <laughs> but I'll save that for last, I think. Let's uh, move on, because this uh, area loops around. But we want to head back left first. The other area we're going to meet up with anyway. The way this uh, castle is laid out, it's actually one giant loop of rooms that loop around each other. So which direction we go, it does not really matter a whole lot in this case. Okay, Melon, please. <laughs> With all of these lava streams coming, I don't really feel safe. <laughs> okay, now... No. <laughs> Yeah, I did say some of these lava streams on the ground could get pretty nasty. Especially in a situation like this. Not per se easy to actually cope with. Okay, this arrow pointing upwards. It's definitely not here for show. We need to shoot an egg up here. Melon. And this should be the 12th one, and therefore we get another heart fruit. Although, no bonus coins this time around. Uh-oh. Uh Don't be so pushy. <laughs> Need to go up here anyway, so it's going to be a fast here. Normally, whenever we meet a fast in a stage like this, in a situation like this, <laughs> it means mini game time. However, unfortunately, the final stage does not have any mini games, so I must conclude we have already played the last one when it comes to that. <laughs> but there's definitely still something tricky in here. That most of all applies to the room to the left over here. Uh, we'll meet up with the area to the right in a minute. First, we're gonna go do this. The room this pipe leads to has the most difficult melon to get in this stage, so here we need to pay attention. <laughs> and it's also the whole reason why I'm doing this area first, when it comes to this split pathway. First we want to go over here. In this little side area we can find the second special heart. And Miss Warp number 3 should also be here. And apparently I suck at crawling. <laughs> no matter, this heart is going to heal me anyway. Now oh, we have ghost balls here. Interesting enemy. But like I said, here's Miss Warp number three. We can also free her from her little box. And now let's try this again. I know the controller I'm using is not really that suited for doing this. <laughs> yeah, but I'm definitely able to do it. <laughs> okay, and now for the tricky puzzle. Because a puzzle this is. We find all of these boxes here. And it's pretty obvious what we need to do. Whenever we find multiple boxes, the trick usually is pushing them together in order to get melons from them. Ground pounding does not work. We need to push them together. However, and this is where the tricky part comes in, there's an odd number of boxes. And therefore, one is going to stay behind if we just push boxes together. And therefore saying, there's one set where we need to get three of them against each other at the same time. <laughs> That's really difficult. But I think these three is actually the most easy to do. Let's push the left one all the way to the left. The one to the right next to it. But of course, make sure it does not touch the left one yet. <laughs> Otherwise, they're going to form into melons immediately. And then move the one above it. Like this. And then three of them should be touching each other. 
and three melons will pop out. Otherwise, you only get two. And the final one's going to be lost in history. <laughs> Very tricky puzzle. It took me a while to actually figure this one out, to be honest. <laughs> did not know this for the longest time. When I was younger, this was indeed, because of this reason, one of the final stages where I was able to get 30 melons. Because I never knew about that trick. <laughs> So, here we have the next hard fruit, spawning more coins. And perhaps it will even lead towards... Yeah, here's the final letter. <laughs> the R. Completing our message. You are Yoshi's great partner. And that is what Nintendo has been spelling throughout this game. Every single stage, one letter. <laughs> we are indeed Yoshi's great partner. The Yoshis couldn't do it without us holding the controller. <laughs> Thank you, Nintendo. It is definitely appreciated. Now let's go finish off this game by finishing off the stage. And this guy's hard to avoid, so... <laughs> Ow! This guy was easier to avoid, but still. <laughs> 22. Oh, there's also uh, something in the ground over here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is all going to be coins. There's plenty of coins hidden in the ground here. Uh, but on my notes, I can't really see... Anything about melons hidden in here, so... All of the secrets are going to be coins in that area. When exiting the room, we get an easy melon. Here's number 23. Uh, down here is actually the right edge of uh, the room we were earlier. With this tulip. <laughs> like I said, it actually loops around. So, don't have to go down here anymore. We've already been here. Getting the key. Uh, let's move to the fast again. There's still that area to the right we need to check out. Because remember, there was a split pathway in here. And we only did the first one. Pipe to the left over here. But there's also stuff to the right. Okay, avoid the saw blade. By crawling or sniffing. No, oh, correction. Sniffing doesn't work. <laughs> in that case, we can only crawl. You, you're an easy one. 24. And therefore, we get another hard fruit. Invincibility does not help us against plummeting into an endless pit. So still be careful. Okay, nothing in there. There could have been. There could have been. <laughs> nothing hidden in these areas. So let's move on. Oh, more lava. But it cannot hurt us. So we are not afraid. Ooh, ball and chain. It actually starts swinging. Game is getting aggressive now. <laughs> Melon number 25. Almost there. The game is almost complete. And this uh, trail of coins is actually inviting us to go down. However, we first want to check out this corridor. <laughs> okay, there's clearly a secret here, so let's shuffle our way under this saw blade. Yeah. Oh, but it appears up. Ah! <laughs> it appears over there. Does not matter. You scared me, sir. Now, let's go down here. There's one last platforming challenge this game has for us. A unique challenge that only appears over here. And the moment we fall in this little pit, we will actually get trapped in between candles carried by shy guys. <laughs> I know they're torches, but still. I always like seeing these things as candles. <laughs> also somewhat of a throwback to Yoshi's Island. Where... Oh. I should be paying attention. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, these guys will actually um, move around on the lower area. Trapping us with their flames. And we need to make sure we um, stay in between them. Which is not easy, apparently. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they actually get really close together. And therefore, avoiding the flames is going to be quite tricky. We even get some obstacles now. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. <laughs> awesome. Anyway, melon 28. Please hurry up. No, I don't mean you back there. <laughs> I meant the front guy. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> ah, dang it. <laughs> Next time I'm going to bring my better controller. This one's not really working that well. <laughs> it's good enough to play, but not for this precision work, in all honesty. Yeah, there we go. 
the moment we reach the end, the flames will go out and this final challenge has been overcome. The red pepper is our reward, but also kind of an indication that there's actually more for us to find here. Because there's a secret. The 29th melon. There's only one more in this game to find. And remember, there's actually something we did not do yet. <laughs> this warp number four. And we can use either the fast to uh, warp back to the beginning. Or we can use the Miss Warp in order to go back to Miss Warp number one. Where we know the key door is. The melon is in this room, by the way. But uh, don't mind if I uh, pick it up in a minute. <laughs> it's actually hidden right over here. But before we do, because of course, getting the melon will finish the stage. And that's something we don't want to do. There's still one more thing we need to get. And this is indeed where it is. There's a lot of... Um, Weird uh, bat-like enemies over here, or scorpion-like enemies. <laughs> Not sure what these things are supposed to be. But they are going to die in a pretty brutal way. <laughs> Egg to the face. And Pucci here was guarding the final special heart in the game. Completing that set entirely. Let's go finish off this game. Let's go face the final boss. In a serious matter this time. So, Melon, I know you are here. The final one in this game, people. After 24 stages, we finally have every single one, including 30, in the final stage. For a grand total of 720 melons during this game. <laughs> so, here we are. What do we have here? Mario's little pet? I have pets too. Let's all play together! Play nice, you wimpy pet! I hate guests who throw bomb bombs at my ceiling! Ah, so that's how we need to beat you. As if we did not know that already. <laughs> but okay, now for serious covering of the final boss. The stage will actually provide you the super happy tree, growing every single piece of fruit, including a hard fruit. But there's also bob arms floating around from the ceiling. So, if you're out of eggs, you can actually use these guys as ammo in order to shoot at either Baby Bowser or at the spikes in the ceiling, throwing them down. Hitting Baby Bowser with the explosion of the bob bomb is a little bit uh, too hard, I think. It requires really good timing. <laughs> so shooting at the spikes is definitely easier. You can also shoot your eggs in order to explode in his face or on the spikes, but if you're out of eggs, bob bombs are the only option. The hard fruit can of course give you infinite eggs, but the hard fruit also does not appear infinitely. So you also need to be uh, careful with that. But that's pretty much how the final boss works. There's a couple of ghosts floating around where he's actually uh, hiding on. And whenever facing Baby Bowser in stage 1 or 2, there's actually going to be one ghost floating around. On stage 3 and 4, like this stage, <laughs> there's actually two ghosts, making it a little bit harder to hit him. And now for the final stage. Here's my poem. I'm the king, you dino guy. I'll smash you now, so say goodbye. Phase number two. This time it becomes more of a direct combat situation. He will start shooting fire, try to ground pound us, therefore trying to kill us. <laughs> but we still need the bob bombs or the hard fruit in order to shoot him. Shooting him with the bob bombs is definitely the hardest to do. The bob bombs can ricochet off the walls, as you can see. But a direct hit still works the best. <laughs> and once again, after three hits, you will win. Let's get invincibility quickly. Get this final shot in. Let's make him land on the explosion. Bam! <laughs> and Baby Bowser is finally, definitively defeated. Yow! This hurts! I hate you puny little Yoshis! I'll give you back your super stupid tree. Besides, its fruits taste rotten to me. Yeah, only if you're really happy and a good guy, only then you can benefit from the super happy tree. It is for the Yoshis, and not for you. It is time for you to finally leave. And so ends Yoshi's story, at least the gameplay of it. <laughs> Our final score is 5,897 points for Magma Castle. Tallied up, we finish the game with the ultimate high score of 
34,981 points. Getting a better high score every single run. <laughs> Interesting. But anyway, after last time where I spelled my name in um, Hiragama, I need to do it in Katakana now, of course. <laughs> I feel kind of obligated to do so. Um, I did look up beforehand what my name is in Katakana. This is Ta, apparently. Um, the IJ is going to be the Ri. Next is the Ku, which is... Uh, Oh, no, wait. This one is actually the Ta. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Does not matter a whole lot, but still. I'd like to do this uh, correctly, if I can. Um, uh, this is the Ku. And the Sa is... This one. Yeah, looks fine. <laughs> Tarikusa! <laughs> but Tarikusa has one more thing to do for you guys. Reading the story one last time, and this time including the epilogue. Finally, we're going to see the whole thing. Let's go over our adventure, starting with Tower Climb. Not knowing where to go, the Yoshis just climbed as high as they could. When they reached the top and looked around, they still didn't know where to go. Finding the super happy tree might not be as easy as they had thought. Torrential Maze was stage 2. To avoid a dark, scary cave, the Yoshis entered a nearby tunnel. Inside, they found a maze that overflowed with rushing water. Perhaps they should have gone through the cave instead. Yeah, we did that in part two. <laughs> we are beyond stuff like that. Frustration. The high mountain air was freezing cold. How much could they take? It was scary so high up. They carefully crossed the canyons and cliffs. Then they met Don Bongo. He was stomping mad, but the Yoshis put him on ice. Page 4, Neuron Jungle. Strange creatures come out at night. And in the jungle, it was always night. Neurons lived in this jungle, but they weren't as wild as they appeared. Instead, the neurons were quite tame, and they happily helped the Yoshis escape. Ahoy mateys, shy guys ship! <laughs> The Yoshis walked along the shore when pirate ships suddenly attacked. Ships ahoy! The Yoshis ran to escape the Shy Guys and cannonballs. As they ran, the Yoshis could see they were almost to the castle. Most awesome stage in this game, Magma Castle to finish things off! The Yoshis found the castle and figured the super happy tree was there. Instead, they found hot lava and a hot tempered baby Bowser. But happiness wins in the end, and the Yoshis peddled baby Bowser. Now that the tree was safe and sound, the storybook was no longer bound. Yoshi's Island returned once more and became again the happiest shore. And the Yoshis lived happily ever after. Like a true fairy tale, it always has a happy end. And it also has end credits. So I will finally allow you guys to enjoy the end credits. <laughs> see who all worked on this game. And I will see you after them.
And with a score of 34,981, we beat all three of our earlier runs in this fourth one, the Black and White Yoshi run, and therefore ending this project. Closing off this project is going to happen right now, of course. <laughs> I must address, there is going to be one more episode, so this is not entirely the end of Yoshi's Story quite yet. There's a couple of things I've missed in this game because of the way I played it, and therefore not allowing me to die a single time. And if I did, I needed to reset. And therefore, there was actually one aspect I missed that I need to cover in bonus content. Of course, there's also um, the black and white Yoshi locations I couldn't uh, get because of already having the black and white Yoshi. <laughs> they indeed appear in more locations, and those I can also quickly show off, so there's definitely going to be bonus content. And perhaps I can even uh, put my failed attempts in there too. Depends how long it all takes. <laughs> Just remember, tomorrow is going to be one more episode bonus content. And besides that, yeah, it was really fun playing this game. It actually took a lot of effort, I must address this. I needed a lot of practicing beforehand in order to make sure this all went well. So there was a lot of effort in this uh, project, definitely. But it was all worth it. I still think it's one of my favorite N64 games ever made. It always makes me feel happy <laughs> when it comes to that. The love, peace and happiness that this game is supposed to um, give to you it definitely does. Because I always feel happy whenever I play this game. <laughs> Worked out really well. There's plenty of Yoshi games still to play. Even though for a while this is going to be the final one. But Yoshi and his uh, dinosaur adventures are going to continue later on on this channel. Just be on the lookout for videos where... The number in the thumbnail has a green color. <laughs> so, next week is going to be another new project. Also one I've been working on for a while now. And I can't wait to finally start it. I will see you folks next week for that. Once again, thank you for joining this Yoshi's Story Ride with me. There's one more episode I need to throw up. And that is going to come up tomorrow as bonus content. And besides that, thank you all for watching. Yoshi story. I hope all of you guys grew happier during this project. <laughs> Tricks out. See you folks in the next project.